when your sodium to potassium ratio, I didn't know this then, but when that ratio is so low, oh, below about a 1.3, one to, one to two to three, you can guarantee, and I mean guarantee, that you will have emotional disturbance. Wow. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am known as Carnivore Yogi. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. This is a short snippet with Barton Scott, the owner of Upgraded Formulas, and we talk about minerals. Really, in the low-carb keto and carnivore communities, electrolytes. It's, all, it's the same thing, but we go deeper than just those electrolytes. So in a video I put out just about a week ago, I talked a little bit about some of the symptoms of electrolyte imbalance. Now, we know the obvious ones, muscle cramps, eye twitches, heart palpitations. Those are symptoms of electrolyte imbalance. But what you may not know is other symptoms of electrolyte imbalance can be issues with mental health, issues with sleeping, energy issues, and even stubborn weight loss can all be at the root of a mineral imbalance or electrolyte imbalance. So this is a short snippet of a longer conversation that Barton and I had, and the full conversation will be available on YouTube in a couple of weeks. It will come out on a Saturday or a Sunday, so make sure you are subscribed and have those notifications turned on. If you want to listen to the full episode today, as you're watching this video, it is available on podcast format on Apple, on Spotify. So go ahead and check out the information section of this video or the comment section. I have a pinned comment as well. If you want to listen to the full conversation today, if you hear this short snippet and say, wow, that's really interesting. I want to dig deep deeper with this. The other thing I wanted to mention is that Barton provided a discount code for my audience. If anybody is interested in getting a hair tissue mineral analysis and really seeing what your minerals look like, what that whole picture looks like, and possibly getting a consultation to have somebody read that for you, the discount code is YOGI. That link and discount code will also be located in the information section for you. I'm trying to raise more awareness about this issue in the keto carnivore and low carb space in general because I see a lot of people quit and give up and get discouraged and it could be as simple as just fixing that mineral imbalance to get your health back on track. So again, hope you enjoy this short little snippet of a conversation and I will see you guys in the next video. That's fascinating. And that's the other thing. I, I, I'm just so fascinated by this whole topic because um, I've heard you talk about the sugar handling one, which mm -hmm. my audience is largely trying to be ketogenic yeah. or do carnivore. Mm -hmm. So they have better sugar handling, but I'd be curious to see if how many of those people, um, if you look at what is it, the, the magnesium calcium ratio, if they're still really struggling, even after all this diet, um, what are your thoughts on that? That is a brilliant question. So not only is that ratio really important, so we'll see some of those people be chronically deficient in magnesium. We'll see some mm -hmm. of those people not utilizing magnesium because their adrenals are blown out and they need B6. Uh, we'll see, and these are so many options. Like this yeah. isn't a, hey, let, let me go take a trip to the pharmacy and buy a, a bunch of supplements. It's like, just because you are doing the keto diet or carnivore diet doesn't mean you're going to have these deficiencies. I can guarantee you, you will have some because we all do. Right. Um, and there will be levels of, of, of a gradient, you know, so how severe is it and in what order do I need to approach and supplement and heal these things? Um, but God, there's, there's so much to it. You know, you can even have, I had this issue um, several years ago where I had, um, because of an infection, my blood sugar would not, um, would not be stable. It, mm. So that was another thing. So, and we get insight to that looking at copper to zinc ratio. Okay. So, and iron to copper ratio. So it, you're just like, oh man, all of this is connected. Yes. <laughs> yes yeah. Very much. So. Yeah. I have people in, I run some private groups now and I've 
been like, Hey guys, go get your mineral test done. I'm curious to see <laughs> those, those of you who are chronically running these high blood sugar. I just did a, a podcast with a blood sugar expert and we talked about people who've been doing carnivore or keto for a long time. And they're still having pre-diabetic blood sugar numbers. Like, why mm. is that? How is that? They're, they're not eating carbs. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to ask Barton about that today. Cause I yeah. really, I know there's a stress component involved. Mm-hmm. I'm a yoga teacher. Yep. I've been teaching yoga yep. for over a decade. So I'm very well honed on the stress component. Uh, However, I'm really thinking there's something to the minerals that could be playing mm-hmm. in for, for some of these people who are really struggling with that. They could be low in sedative minerals like calcium and magnesium, which help you calm down and relax. They could be, oh, they could be, <laughs> um, I talked about this with someone on, on her podcast uh, about a year ago, and she was just taking too much salt. Mm. So oh, you know, that's a big problem. To like, oh, yeah. salt. Oh my God. Let's, yeah. let's uh, drown ourselves in salt. And it's like, look, I, I am all for taking way more salt than what most people would consider normal if your results indicate it. But <clears throat> so we trademarked uh, a phrase uh, you can find it on our website. It's called test, don't guess. Mm-hmm. And that-